Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Brick Roll. Alright, I just got done doing my European live stream, so I figured I better get this out of the way real quick before I completely lose my voice. I am not really used to talking for two hours straight and it does take its toll, so let's get going on this. What I want to do today is uh, talk to you about a little bit of a problem I have in the bathroom with one of the towel racks that's kind of not attached to the wall very well. Um, I'm, I looked at this a little bit a couple days ago and in about 30 seconds I couldn't figure it out so I figured okay well we'll turn this into a vlog and we'll spend the time to do it and we'll get it fixed right. This is going to be a simple fix I think. So this is the target of our, our project today. Uh, basically what happens is this side here isn't attached very well and so it kind of comes off. Now when I was looking at how it all worked, I realized that this thing is, is attached to the wall the same way the towel racks were attached in my house. Uh, which is, there's this little piece that screws onto the wall and then there's a little hook in the inside of here and a screw on, uh, at the bottom and what ends up happening is the hook goes over that and the screw locks onto there and that's what holds it to the wall. I think the problem is that this piece is not the piece that came with the towel rack. I think it's a little bit too big. It's either that or they didn't center it properly. And whichever the case is, we're going to figure out what that is. So let's take a look. Now, as I said before, I'm not sure whether the problem is that this is the wrong piece for this, uh, for this rack or if it just isn't centered properly. So I think the first thing I need to do is I need to just take that piece off. So fortunately, I got the right tool for that. Great, you look like you use more caulking compound. Oh yeah, there's nothing that they won't fix in this place that doesn't use caulking compound, is there? <laughs> yeah, they glued it onto the wall. Lovely. Now as I said, there's a little hook under here, and this little hook is supposed to to grab onto this and get behind there. So it holds on. And then the, there's a little set screw here that you can see there and that goes up and that grabs onto the other side of the hook. And so the question is, is the hook the problem? And it doesn't look like the, it doesn't look like the hook is the problem because it will fit in there. So it may have just been a centering issue. They may have not centered it properly when they attached it. Uh, so that becomes a little bit more of a complication, but I'm thinking since this one slides on pretty easily Maybe if I reattach this one and attach just this piece without the bar uh, Maybe I can get this one attached properly and then can redo this one. So let's try that I was kind of halfway thinking maybe the problem is that this doesn't stick out far enough to grab onto the hook on there. But no, it seems like it does. Let me go get a screwdriver and see if I can attach that. So if we can see if we can get that to... All right, so I think what's going on, this may not, may be close to being the right piece, but what's going on is I, as I try and set this set screw in here, this thing is walking this way. And so I'm thinking maybe now what the problem is, is if this isn't the right piece, maybe there just isn't enough space between the wall and the bracket here. And so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Home Depot and just get a couple of just little washers that can go behind there. It'll make that thing stick out a little bit more. So, let's go on a road trip. All right, so I think this is what I need. These are just uh, 
number six washers, 30 count, more than I need, but I think what they'll do is they'll act as a spacer behind that thing, make it stick a little further from the wall so that the, uh, that the tape, that the uh, towel rack can clamp onto it and not, not fall off. So let's try that. So you may remember a couple weeks ago when I did my uh, first episode of That's Not How It's Done, I pointed out that there was a possibility that one of the cabinets could drive the knob into the uh, glass on the range, and I suggested maybe we could use a door stopper to uh, prevent that. So I went out and got one of those, and we'll add that on too. All right, so what I want to do is remove these and just put one of those washers behind each of the screw holes. That'll just make that bracket stay away from the wall a little bit more and I think that'll probably help the issue. And fortunately, I got a whole bunch of them, so if one of them isn't enough, we'll do two of them. Just until we get it to stick far enough away from the wall where, where we can actually latch onto it. One of the things I noticed is they didn't even use the right kind of screws. That uh, that clearly isn't the screw that came with the uh, with this system here, because uh, those are uh, countersunk screws, which means they're designed to kind of dig into the wood so that they become flush mount. Normally, what would happen is you get what they call a pan head screw, and basically it's a it looks like the inside of a frying pan. It's kind of rounded and flat on the top, and then it's flat on the bottom too, unlike these. So I don't know. Probably just some screws that they had hanging out in the back of their truck or something. Yeah, we're still walking away here. So let's put another another uh, let's put another washer behind there. haven't even taken off that one maybe that was maybe the reason that this that one works and this one doesn't is they maybe did that one right who knows Yeah, that's better. Alright, so since this one's working good, I'm just going to re disconnect this one so that we can get the, the railing in there. Just spend a minute or two doing this right and you save so much time doing it wrong. Problem solved. 
That's all there is to that. So I knew that was going to be just be something simple. Uh, the problem was that that, uh, that bracket piece was just too close to the wall and the screw that locks onto it with the table with the towel rack uh, was actually going on top of the bracket rather than going underneath it and gripping onto it. So, you know, by putting a couple spacers by, between the bracket and the wall, that makes the, uh, the towel rack grip onto, this, onto the bracket properly. And now we're good to go. So you may remember when I first moved out, there were a handful of plants that I wanted to take with me, including a clipping of a house plant that my mom had bought me like 30 years ago when I first moved out and got my first apartment. And somehow I managed not to kill it and managed to keep it alive throughout the entire time I was in the apartment. And for the first couple years when I was in the house, when I didn't have any place to put it except in the house, uh, I and then when, once I did do that, then I moved out in the backyard and just kind of put it in a uh, in a in an area where you know it would it would grow or not grow depending on what the situation was, and it grew and it got so big that it actually choked out just about everything under the under the patio cover at one point, actually on more than one occasion. So I took a clipping of it and I brought it with me in a glass of water and kept it alive. And about a week ago, I put it in in a pot with some soil. And look at that, we got some new growth going on here. This thing's gonna live. All right, so between that and the live stream today, I'm bushed. So this is all I've got for today. I'm glad you tuned in. Uh, to those of you who watched on the live stream today, I'm glad you checked in there too. Uh, thank you as always for watching, and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.